Welcome back to the channel everybody. Day number two at the attempt on getting the rock crusher out of the old gravel pit here. You can see we brought some additional reinforcements this time. Senior's already starting to uh, get the binders off of the load and we even brought a few more pieces in the back of his truck more than what we had yesterday so we're just about tooled up to be able to move anything that we could move if we were still at home and i can see the crusher over there it's still upright didn't tip over last night so let's get busy all right quick recap so last night i got to thinking this thing is so heavy and so tall but so narrow I wanted a little bit of extra support out to each side. So we had some of this old scabby steel, double angle riveted together. So I went ahead and I torched a T-slot in the bottom of each skid to run that channel through. All right, we had to do some slots for the rivet heads and then I just torched and threw a couple bolts in each side to keep it from sliding side to side. So in case when we start moving this, winching it, we have a little bit of a platform out about four feet or so from each side. That makes me feel a little bit better. And then Senior is hooking up right now. We decided we have a little, few minutes to kill before the other trailer gets here. We're gonna take this heavy belt pulley off, just kind of do anything we can to lighten the load. I never thought I'd say this, but thank God it's Rick Bork. Help has arrived. He's just giving me the head shake. I don't think he's happy. We're gonna try it on his trailer because that's a lot lower to the ground than this thing is. trailer now that it's not going to go anywhere yeah just pull that bolt and then i'll slide it out this side okay. it just felt better with that on there it seems pretty solid it's actually skidding on way easier than i thought shut it up way shut up just saying we're only 10 okay. percent of the way there so Just about to fall off this back roller. Do we want to do something different back there? Okay. We got about two more inches. We're off the back pipe. I don't know if that rod's going to shoot out of there. Good. This side's up. Other side's up. Thank you. 
Okay, let's hold up. We're getting ready. You got probably six more inches. It should start coming over. I don't mind a few pipes. That's going to spread a lot of your weight out, too. Deck boards are bowing like crazy right here, right now. Yeah, we're gonna do all our weight here, but when you get on, come back up on the. That's why I was just gonna go for the broke and let her drop onto the other pipes, cause just let her just split the difference here, Toby. As long as the uh... ready. Yep. All right, you're just about to up. get on this next pipe. She's springy. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Okay, we're chained down and we took the rollers, the pipes out from underneath, and we got some five inch C channel with some rough sawn oak two by fours in there. So we're still steel on wood on steel on wood so that um, that doesn't be or that doesn't get slippery on the bottom. So we're getting a little tight on clearance. Eric's confident he's gonna make it. And we've got senior over here. We're kind of erasing the big crater that we made in their bank, so we don't want to leave this a complete mess, so we figured we'd feather that back out and they don't have so much to uh, tidy up after we're gone, so we want to be respectful to the landowner. All right, Rick's ready to go over there. We're loaded here. Any parting words? Remember, this is the Squatch 253 channel. I'm taking that home. I'll bring you 500 bucks. Not yet. Possession's nine tenths. Well, <laughs> we'll see how the trip home goes. Okay. All right, last hurdle is this skinny bridge. And I made sure I'm getting across it before Rick Bork. He's going to take the heavy load across last. Let's watch him in the mirror. He's on it. And we're across. Well, he's still behind me, and it looks like the crusher's still on his trailer. We are almost there. the old rock pile 20 pretty close to its new home holy crap there's still tires on the trailer I told you <laughs> we don't have a lot of tongue clearance on the ground though <laughs> Trailer's balanced though. That's a lot. Of it. Pretty good. It towed pretty well. They're not even warm. Yeah. Oh yeah. Hubs aren't. This thing's not. I don't think this thing's over eight. Honestly. Book says it's like ten five without skids. I don't think so. Cause this thing doesn't tow any different than my excavator. He kept up pretty well. So. All right. Now we need to figure out where we drop the trailer. 
All right, we parked it kind of down here in the hall so that after he gets the front jacked up off of the hitch, beaver tail's basically gonna be on the ground. So we should have, yeah, that leveled the deck out pretty well. Should have a pretty straight shot right off the back of that. Trouble is, this time of year we got, well, hour and a half worth of daylight, so we're probably not going to uh, work too hard at getting this off the trailer tonight. So I think you're released. You can go home. Perfect. I'll get this offloaded tomorrow and uh, bring the trailer back to you. How's that? I'm gonna need beer. <laughs> Appreciate it, man. Yeah. All right, it is the next morning, and uh, after thinking on it for a bit, we did have it placed up there into the bank last night. I kind of wanted it up there, but I decided we have a much better unloading spot down here, and it's gonna be further out of my way until I finally get around to getting to this project. So. Dug a couple quick trenches with the backhoe, enough to back the trailer wheels into to get the beaver tail firmly planted on the ground. And we've got the rollers back beneath the skids so that we will start um, uh, pulling it off of the trailer. And then we have the winch cable through the snatch block right here with a series of chains that go up to this large basswood clump. And of course, we're protecting the trunk with some rubber matting. So, we are ready to begin moving it off the trailer. Squatch on the controls, got our safety chains hooked up. We'll go for our next foot or so. A little more. Yeah, we're just a minute. You can tell we're enjoying a little bit of a downhill slope. Yep. We'll get this here back up where. I'm gonna need to slack this one anyhow because we're about to stretch tight. Okay, we're gonna readjust our chains here, our stop chains. Uh, we don't want this thing getting away from us. Okay, we have to transition our, our back pipe to the front and we're about ready to, to roll it on there. And I uh, got Squatch on the controls and uh, let's give it to her, see what happens, see if we can get her on. Yeah, let's see if we can jump it on there. Yeah, see that? Rolls right up there. This is the way the Egyptians did it. And Senior's about to slack our limiting safety chains again because our over center point is about right here. There is a lot of front end weight in this thing. So when we get this front pipe underneath there, we're going to over center. So we've chased it with a half or a piece of solid half inch steel plate back here. We have it blocked and supported in two places. I don't want to bend that because I'd kind of like to use it for something else. And you can see we have greased for the skids. We have this barrel of old nasty grease. We're just using it up. Perfect application. So let's get it over center and hopefully finally off a of Rick's trailer. the over center should be smooth sailing now that's why we put those chains on there keeps it under control Just about off. That's all we got. It's off though.
All right, we have the Rock Crusher unloaded. Kind of glad to have it down here. Um, it's out of the way. Can sit here for as long as it needs to until I can get at it. Senior's on his way out, and well, I'll tell you what, Rick did us a solid favor. I gave him a call, he dropped everything. He says, when do you need the trailer? I said, can we do it tomorrow? He says, I'll be there, and he was. So he still had, well, four of his tractors here from Plow Day, three of them, sorry, and then Connor's 400. So I was able to uh, get the Super C and the John Deere H on here for him so that when I return his trailer, I can also save him a trip up here to get these. So don't mind returning the favor one bit. Thanks for watching everybody. Man, it's been a busy oh, three days now moving that crusher, but we got it done. I think that thing's gonna be fun. Hope to see y'all back again.